creating this uh, video in response to the monetization. I, I, you know, I was so glad I tripped up on that video and it was quite by accident. One of my fans had you in his favorites and, and that's how I noticed you and um, because I was struggling struggling with that issue um, it caught my attention and I, I was really glad you was trying to reach out to somebody and help them because I had been asking you know I've been a YouTube member since 06 I never started posting any videos till like 09 and um, got invited in in 09 on, on my birthday actually um, I was very happy about that um, and did actually earn a few coins on my video um, but at that time you know they actually send you the invitation per video you know it wasn't a banner going across your account um, inviting you in so I was even confused on that you know because I did not want to you know click here and monetize and then my account get deleted because I got videos on there that, you know, quote unquote cross the line, which I really don't know what that line is still, um, you know, because uh, admittedly I did some booty shaking videos and I didn't, you know, I don't know what the line is that changed from one video to the next, one person to the next, one day to the next, so that's still confusing. But anyway, long story short, um, you know, I hesitated. And so I was so glad to see your video where, you know, you was really trying to sincerely help the young lady, you know, get her account together. And I was like, oh boy, you know, I really need to step in because that's my forte. My background is computers, technology, you know, computers, technology, that's my life. That was my livelihood for many years. And so I know my stuff when it comes to that. And I'm the go-to person you know when it comes to that and usually I'm the one people come to but this is the first time you know I came across something I was confused and your fans were actually trying to help me and that's an unusual position to be in but it just show the love and the kind of fans you have you know they were trying to reach out to me and help me you know I didn't want to just tell them yeah I know that already I know what I'm doing but um, you know they was being sincerely helpful, trying to be, but in the process, you know, ran into some of the same obstacles I did in the confusion. And it is confusing, you know, so note that YouTube, I know that you sent me a satisfaction email and did a survey. That part is confusing, so I want to help clear it up. The part where you have to put in the URL, it's confusing, you know, because I took that to mean, I took that to clearly mean domain. You have to have your own domain, in other words, you can't be a, have a MySpace page or a Facebook and think that's, you know, the URL that would, that would uh, be approved. So what that means, if you did get to that point and you were confused like I was, how, what to do at that point um, actually you just leave it blank if you 
and this is only if you got the invitation from YouTube. You leave it blank. You don't need a URL. You don't need a domain. If you got the invitation from YouTube, that doesn't apply to anyone else. Because there are people out there that blog and use Blogger or, you know, this websites, you, uh, <coughs> uh, businesses, you know, they have websites for their businesses. They use Google Ads. So you have to have access to the web page and the internal workings of the web page in order to place that code on your page so the ads will run. But on YouTube, that's the exception. And this is only the people who got invited in through YouTube. And I'm also going to uh, tell you what to do if you did try to do that step and got disapproved because it said uh, on, uh, you, you didn't own the ownership, uh, domain ownership. If that was the issue why you didn't get accepted in, I'm also going to tell you what you need to do to do that. Um, the next point, I can't say enough. You cannot have copyrighted material. That's the bottom line. Everything I read, that all the terms and stuff, that's what their main issue is. You cannot have copyrighted material. So you can't have your jam in the background, you know, and uh, think that's okay because that's going to be a conflict of interest for them. You have to have permission. I mean, if your jam that's in the background, you know, if you, you're a personal friend of that person who created that song and they gave you permission to use it in your video, then it's all good. You can, you can use the music in the background, you know, but if not, no, it's not going to fly. It's not going to get accepted. And the risk of that, if you do uh, submit that video for review to, uh, and it has the copyrighted material, you run the risk of getting the video deleted and removed. So you just don't want to do that. And, um, you know, basically just avoid it. You know, use original content, you know. You don't have to have, you know, uh, you know, professional video. That's what YouTube all about. You know, it's being you being you. You know, so do you, do you, but leave copyright material out of it. Okay. I just wanted to share that part of it, part of the information as as far as how I learned it and understand it, and then now I'm going to move on to the boring technical stuff, but I'm going to provide screenshots and hopefully I apologize if it's, it's not clear and I sound like I'm mumbling because some of them, you know, the audio was low and, um, you know, it may not be clear. And if the video is too long to upload, I am offering you all the opportunity to see the video in full on my blog. I did create the blog and that blog is going to be de dedicated to tech tips because that's what I do. Doing me is doing tech. You know, so some of you have come to know me to be doing one thing, but you know, don't box me in. I'm more than that. You know, I did that for fun and to de-stress and you know, but that's not all me. And word of advice, you know, don't come to me like that, you know, as though that's all I'm about. You know, I'm more than that. And one of the things I'm going to bring out and show the other side is my tech side. Because I love helping people. That was my job and livelihood for many years doing technical support. I hate to see somebody struggling with a computer issue or computer problem. And I'm a user too. I run into the same issues and have the same frustration. So I love solving problems. Problem solving is what I love to do. It is my passion. It is my life passion. I mean, I'm just very, very passionate about it. And I'm always extending my help. It don't matter if you're an enemy, you know. 
Some of y'all know part of my story. I help my enemies while they kick me in the teeth, you know, shit it all over me. And I was helping them, you know. It's a, you know, honor and privilege to come into, you know, the circle of someone who, who got the wisdom and experience to, to share with you and was sh ready, willing, and able to share with you freely. You know, I got more time on my hands than the average person because I'm retired now. And so, you know, I'm, you know, I want to be useful. You know, mine is a terrible thing to waste. I want to help people. So I don't mind if you ask me questions, even if I don't know the answer. I'm not conceited. I will, you know, do what I can to get that answer for you. If I don't know it, I'm, you know, my search game is ice cold. I can find it. Um, and if I can't find it, that answer, <laughs> it just ain't there. And sometimes that happens, you know, just ain't no answer, just ain't no solution. But if I can help you, feel free. Don't hesitate to ask me a question because um, I like doing that. It, you know, that's me doing me. All right, now I'm going to move on to the, uh, the screenshots showing you the steps. And hopefully it will help you. And uh, that's it for now. Peace. Okay, those of you who are fortunate enough to have this banner in your account when you go to your videos, see your uploaded videos, and see this banner for monetization, you can go ahead and get started. And you get started by clicking the link on that says get started, and you'll be directed to another page. And that will give you an option to either set up a new AdSense account or use an existing AdSense account. Um, I apologize for any pauses or silent moments in my videos, but it's because I'm waiting for the computer to process. Anyway, this is the page that I was speaking of, and you see there are two options. Um, you pick the one that applies to you, and then you click Next. Now, my account had an issue because I had started an application, so it didn't just go right to the next page. But I'm going to come back and show you what the next page should look like, minus the, the little message. I now here's the page and what it should look like, minus the message at the top. As I said, I had started an application and didn't complete it. But yours would probably appear, minus the, the note the pink note at the top and you can basically choose through two options individual or business because um, businesses use YouTube to promote their services all the time so and there is a difference between individual and business then you pick the country And then you will go ahead and enter your personal information, payee name, that's you, city, state, and zip, and phone number. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to pause it because um, I want to protect my privacy. And when I return my... Um, personal information will be edited out. Once that's all complete, then you tick all the boxes um, of agreeing to their terms, basically. And if you have an AdSense account, there's already always are also an option for you. Okay, the next page showing my 
personal information. I will have it edited out when I post this video. But after that page, you click continue. Then you get to a page that shows you all of the terms and conditions, which I have already printed out and read because it's important to me to know what I'm signing up for. So you you know have a choice to print it out and read it. And basically, you know, it's saying you know you can't uh, violate any of their guidelines and no copyright material. And I accept those terms. Now, this is the point at which I'm waiting to be approved. And then, and above it says, you know, that it could take up to a week or maybe even more. So, I will come back when... Well, 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 Miss Tina, God's good. Um... I was nervous and wondering how, what the outcome of my, my application would be. And I went in my mailbox and this is what I found. Uh, congratulations. It said my account has now been enabled. So I'm going to go through the steps to see, you know, what's involved in this process. When I actually post this video, I will have my um, personal information uh, edited out protect my privacy but I did want to take people take you through it using these tools the first step it says you know your account is enabled for revenue sharing now what so how much money you can make blah 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 now the way it works is saying you can opt now opt any new uploads the eligible existing videos in your account into the revenue sharing program and that's what I was wondering about because I had gotten into the program before and you know they're doing it a little different and um before they actually invited specific videos they would say your video became popular blah blah you know would you like to be in the uh, revenue sharing program this time i didn't know so you know i knew that some of my videos had copyright material in it and i didn't really want to you know, cross that line and get into trouble, have my account closed. So that is, you know, why I was a little nervous about how this was going to come out. But, you know, I do see here that you're able to select the videos you want to uh, put in the program. And it's telling you to visit my videos and and locate the videos in your among your videos that are eligible. And then you click the Enable Revenue Sharing button underneath your video. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna pause the video right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and read around uh, the rest of this information so I know what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna come back and actually do it. Okay, now I'm back. <clears throat> and so I know now what the steps are and what the rules are, you know. So uh, the first one I'm going to try is the one, my response to you, Miss Tina, because that is a video that's all me. It does not contain any copyrighted material, does not contain any background music, and it's just me talking. It's guys, that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to save the changes. And so basically, I will have to go through my videos and the ones that are eligible. You know, and eligibility is based on you have full ownership, 100% of the content of the video, you know. So, 
people, you know, that you that get invited in. Don't think because you got a great video and it got thousands of views. If that video has copyrighted uh, uh, work in it, it's not going to be eligible. So, yay me, I was able to get in. So this is a happy outcome, happy day for me. So, thanks to you, Miss Tina, I'm going to give you credit for me giving, getting the nerve to uh, actually go through the process again because I didn't want my feelings hurt and dis be disappointed or get my account closed. And um, now I know I'm all good with YouTube. Okay, so I'm back now to set up my video. Here I go. This is going to be my first um, try at uh, setting up my first video for monetization. And it's click the monetize button, pick the option when it monetize with ads, and then what you're instructed to do here is to describe your video. So since this video doesn't have graphics or pictures, photographs or any artwork, or it's not movies or t TV visual or video games, software visuals, performances, or music, I'm all good with this video. And then here they are asking you to describe the video. And I hate to write, so I'm going to make this short and sweet. This is a video response of myself talking about relationships. And then I'm going to say the changes. And that's it. I guess now I'll wait for it to be approved or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, continue through the videos I have. To see which ones are eligible, because of course they're not all eligible. Some are, and um, you know, I don't want to pick one because you could see on the notes at the bottom if it's not eligible and it violates their guidelines, it will be removed. So I don't want to do that. So I want to pick videos that fit the bill. You cannot have copyrighted music or images or pictures or anything that does not belong to you. You know, they are, they are sticklers for that because there's a conflict of interest with them. You know, they cannot put advertising in your stuff, you know, and it's got copyright, you know, issues. Anyway, so I'll be back when I find out the outcome. Well, Miss Tina, I got to pay homage to you, even though, you know, I knew the tech part and I had been in the program before I actually earned a few coins for my video. Um, I'm crediting you with the courage to do it again, you know, because I did not want to, you know, get my account removed or any of my videos removed or just, you know, I like to stay out of trouble. I like to play it safe and, and within the guidelines, but I'm happy to say I can end this video with a happy ending, because I thought it was going to take several days for the process, but it didn't actually take but a few minutes, <laughs> so I'm actually able to end this video with the outcome that I was hoping for, which is now my um, channel has been monetized, and I'm proud and I'm going to try to keep my account in good standing and um, avoid problems if I can. I do want to still bring my audience the videos they came to know me for, but I'm also going to add to it because I'm, you know, I'm more than that. I want to add to it. I want to do like you said. This is my platform. 
you know. So I I want to bring to the table, you know, the other sides of me. You know, we're not all just one thing, you know, and I don't like being boxed in to any type of, you know, particular category. You know, I have a very uh, fun side, serious side, and technical side. My background is technology, and, you know, that's some of what I'm going to bring to my channel. You know, it's just not all about, you know, being sexy or, you know, uh, what have you. <clears throat> I um, do thank you because um, I was so nervous. And I'm, you know, I don't have all those one zingers like you do, and it won't be comedian type angle, you know. You know, I would just be doing me, you know. And part of me is the technology, so that's why I put together this particular video, so to help people, you know, who have the same uh, problems, help them solve it. That's what I really like doing. That's my passion. That really is my passion. It's more my passion than the videos that I was bringing before, which basically was just for fun, you know, to de stress. You know, I'm real serious and I work hard on, you know, on my, my videos and my computer. And my computer is my background. That's my expertise. And I want to bring that to the table. So, this is the beginning of my tech videos. You know, I don't ho hope I don't lose my audience because of that. But, oh well, so be it if that's the case. You know, that's being one track minded too. Anyway, because you can uh, learn a lot from me. So, those of you who respect me and respect what I've been doing, you're going to learn even more because I plan to bring more to the table than just my assets. <laughs> anyway, this is success here. I have an ad officially in my page, my channel, and um ready to rock and roll with it. Peace. Oh, Lord, your mama finally came to get you. You is a busy... Stop! Handful. So glad your mama back. Ooh-wee. The gang's all here. Oh, grandma's job is done now, finally. I'm so glad they get to come Thank back. Thank you. That's the advantage of grandparenting. The little rascals get to go back.